All right, Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Raka Kodash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of the great millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations unto the hopeful elect, beginning with the 144,000. Name of this lesson is Testosterone Levels Plummet. All right. Testosterone Levels levels Plummet. All right. And um, the inspiration for doing this video was this article. You know, sent up by Rawai La Yasha Allah Yahweh Shai is coming. All right, it says in this um chart, this bar chart, it says test, test, testosterone levels are down 50 percent in just two decades, in just 20 years. Uh, a decade is, is 10 years, all right, which is a short period of time. All right, you can see here by the statistics in 1980s, you know, and the observation in the years it just dropped lower and lower all right it just drops lower and lower all right it says uh, modern environmental toxins like plastics all right plastics you know that's why you know a lot of times now now even the, the elder apostles you know they, you know they go into the apostle Gaba, you know he goes into it you know you know um, cooking in plastics you know drinking in plastic certain especially certain plastics you know because there are some they actually have plastics that um you know that that are so called better or less toxic than others all right there's a number if you look under the bottle that denotes that all right you know but they, they don't they don't teach you this you know so our people are what destroyed for lack of knowledge all right it says um cosmetics fake meat so like your fake meat tap water you know you shouldn't be drinking tap water all right seed oils um like palm seed oil soya bean oil sunflower oil all right all these seed oils they heat them at a high temperature which when it becomes what toxic to our bodies okay pretty much they only good for like an automobile right personal care products like deodorant you know powder body washes shampoos and deodorants are estrogenic compounds that are blocking testosterone production that's right and even the, the um the water bottles that we drink in every day, those water bottles that they, that they sell you, you know um they have they have artificial estrogens in them, all right, which basically eff effeminizing the men. All right, I have this article also that goes into it. It says um the generational decline in testosterone levels observed by Helio. This was, article was dated October the second, twenty twenty three. It says the trend does not seem to be attrib attributable to health. And lifestyle changes which is it, bullshit all right researchers observe a substantial decline in testosterone among US men from 1987 to 1999 to 2000 to 2004 the decrease in testosterone concentrations was independent of age all right during the past two decades testosterone testosterone levels in American men have rapidly declined and, and I'm sure around the world too because a lot of people follow after America in terms of the eating habits, lifestyle, you know, you know, um, the American lifestyle is coveted after. All right, so you can see here the decline in men in the Boston area. All right, it says um, this information comes from a long-term prospective study that evaluated changes in serum testosterone on a population-wide basis. All right, and it goes into the metabolism and all these things say although testosterone loss is common in, in men in as men age it is often associated with diabetes abnormal obesity sexual dysfunction depression and other adverse um, condition and all this a lot of this is due to the shit that they put in our foods all right you know basically it goes on but i'm not going to go down in that all right we're going to go to the scriptures basically what it is is that our foods are being affected all right, Ephesians 5 and 12. Let's get that. Because we don't understand, even now we know a lot more than we knew before. But we still don't understand the extent to which this devil, Esau, Edom, so-called white man, is destroying us. Let's get the book Ephesians chapter 5. Is it Ephesians? Yeah, Ephesians 5 and 12. For it is a shame even to speak of those things which are done of them in secret right you know <laughs> but um everything going to be made manifest it says but all things that i reprove are made manifest by the light 
for whatsoever doth make manifest is light. Right? You know? It says, Wherefore he saith, Awake thou that sleepest, and arise from the dead, and Hamashiach shall give thee light. Now let's read that in the NLT. Ephesians 5 and 12, it says, It is shameful even to talk about the things that the ungodly people do in secret. Like, like, like what they do to our food. You know, the plastics they put in our food, for our food, the metal, the heavy metals. All right? It says, But their evil intentions will be exposed when the light shines on them. For the light makes everything visible. This is why it is said, Awake, O sleeper, rise up from the dead, and a Mashiach will give you light. And this is the time of the awakening. It's high time to awake out of sleep. All right? You know, because our salvation is nearer than when we believe. All right? You know, and this is a time for changes. You know, the scripture says, Repent and be ye converted. You know, you know um, repenting is good, but we had to convert. You know, that's, it, it, this truth is a lifestyle. All right? You know, how you eat, how you drink, what you do. Okay? So these devils do all this to what? To keep us asleep. All right? As I said in these notes here, to keep us in sin. All right? Because um, when you affect somebody, hormones, you know, you're thrown off the what? The balance. Right? It's a, it's, it's, a, it's a delicate balance in your body, which is the temple. All right? Of the living power. That's why the, the reason more so why we have to take care of the temple. All right? Because the Holy Spirit dwells within this body. All right? But it's a balance. Okay? When we get the book of... Uh, Proverbs chapter 11 verse 1 it says a false balance is abomination to Yabashim Yoshai but a just weight is his delight so when you you eat bad you know you you know you eat all these things which you know we have no choice and you know, the whole place is corrupt but you make the best choices in the situation you know you, you choose the best as it, that you could get you know based on you know your resources that you have and most importantly you pray over your food you pray over everything that you do everything that you eat all right, because you know you become an abomination. You know, imagine a lot of these men are turning to um, to basically freaking fairies. All right, homos. All right, basically because what the food that they eat and they becoming they becoming the testosterone is decreasing. You know, and, and, and the estrogen is increasing, and therefore be, they become turn as women. All right, which is why a lot of men, you know, are, 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 are looking at other men. All right. And this is what's going on here. And this is a place. You see a lot of men walking around with man boobs. You have your big stomach in front of you. You have your pregnant belly. Your whole midsection big and fat and over, overweight. Yeah, this is what it is. You know, and that could cause a wicked spirits to jump on you when, you when your body is out of line. All right? You're not, they have no form of exercise. All right? Scriptures say physical exercise profited little by profited. So all these things, you know, must be put in play. You know, for you to be for this truth to be profitable to you. That's why the apostles, you know, stress on these things too. All right. Um, um, yeah. So let's go back here. So so that that's the hormonal imbalance that's happening. All right. A lot of people turn into what emotional bitches. A lot of men, they are emotional as hell. But this truth calls us back to what? To being true men. You know, which has which has to which has um. Wide, widespread ramifications, you know, uh, your behavior, obeying the laws, the statutes, you know, standing up to your woman, all right, all these things, but also in terms of our diet, you know, what we're consuming, you have to watch what you consume, Isaiah 46 and verse 8, it says, remember this and show yourselves men, bring it again to mind, O ye transgressors, all right, remember the former things of old, for I am power, and there's none else. I am your Hawah Bashim, your Shai Power, and there's none like me. So the Lord, you know, everything written up four times was written for our learning. The Lord is telling us, hey, come back. Come back to, to your manhood. They, this is what these devils trying to do. They're trying to take away what? Your manhood. All right? You know, keep you in, as a effeminate bitch. You know, because a woman is easier to control through what? Her emotions. You know, and, and that's a lower state of being, a lower vibration. Or the mind set on the carnal things Think about it You know all these women You know they think about a man They think about using a man as options You know one man to, to buy this to them One man to buy that for them You know They think about security But they, they, most of them They don't think about Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai the Lord So they are attacking your manhood Which you have to be a man first Before you become a man of the Lord Alright Now let's go down here Let's get Romans The book of Romans 
chapter 14, verse 2, it says, For one believeth that he may eat all things, right? Another who is weak eateth herbs. So you have to understand, you know, and change your diet, all right? You know, start eating things that want more out of glass, less plastic and metals, metal tins, you know, more fresh food as, as best as you could, all right? And, um, you know, if you're sick, like most of your brothers suffering ailments, you know, when your testosterone low, you turn to the herbs. You have many herbs you can go to, you can use to boost up that testosterone, you know, like things like maca, ashwagandha, all right? So a palmetto, you name it, you know. So, you know, which goes back into the physician, you know, the scriptures say, you know, do, do keep the physician far from you. That's roughly paraphrasing. All right? So, you eat your herbs, you know, to boost up yourself. Because we've been, we under attack. It's spiritual first and foremost, and it's, it, it's, it's, it's physical. This is what these people do. You know? This is what these people do. Um, let's get um, second as just 5 and 54. Get the book of Second Ezra, chapter five, verse fifty-four. Consider thou therefore, right, also, how that ye are less of stature than those who were before you. You were less of stature, right? Because we you know from the start, you know, you know, we were much taller, stronger. Our testosterone level was higher. But as time goes on, we get weaker and weaker through what through the sin, you know. And um, the scripture I talk about, you know, when when um the wicked came into power. Evils were multiplied in the earth, so the food now is no longer fresh, proper food. It's GMO, it's bioengineered food, it's pesticide, it's herbicide, it's all these things going on in our food. So you, you have to be careful what you're consuming. And you have to know how to clean and wash your food. Alright? Because you know we becoming less and less. That's why we're so weak. Alright? Testosterone helps strengthen a man. You know, that's his strength. A lot of people, you know, the testicles, they the, the testicles shrinking down. A manhood shrinking, you know, this is real. It says verse 55, second Ezra 5 and 55, and so are they that come after you less than ye, as the creatures which now begin to be old and have passed over the strength of youth. So, yeah, we getting older and older, you know, and we getting uh, weaker and weaker slack, you know, and um, that's why the scripture even said, you know, basically we have enough strength just to do this work. So, you have to have a care for your body, you know, you have to, you know, take care of your temple, you know. Don't defile the temple as best as you could. Even though the scripture said that we'll be eating defiled bread among the heathen, right? That's Ezekiel um, 4. So like Ezekiel 4. And please first um let's check this out here. 4 and 13, is it? It says, and the Lord saith. Even thus shall the children of Israel eat their defiled bread among the Gentiles, whither I will drive them. So it said we will eat our bread defiled, you know, among the Gentiles, but, you know, which is for prophecy. Prophecy must come to pass, yes. But at the end of the day, you know, you make the best choices that you have. And at the end of it, what you do? You pray over your food. All right, Philippians 4 and 6. What does it say? Book of Philippians chapter 4. And verse 6, it says, Be careful for nothing, right? But in everything, by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be known unto, unto power. Now, in the NLT, it says, Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. So, so we know that our food is defiled. We know all these plastics, all these things are attacking us, attacking our testosterone as men, all right? And, of course, and all these diseases and other things. Right, but what you do, you pray about it. Don't worry, you pray. Right, tell the Heavenly Father what you need and thank Him for all He has done. Right, so you thank the Lord, you pray to Him as the elder apostle Ari Amlava always goes into you pray, pray over your food, you pray for everything. All right, and um, you tell the Lord what you need to cleanse your food. All right, and um, of course, before you do everything, you know with the knowledge that you have to make sure your food is clean and make sure you make the best choices. All right, and then you pray and you trust in the Lord. That's faith. All right, the Lord can do all things. It says, um, and thank Him for all He has done. Now, in verse 7, it says, um, um, and the peace of power which passeth all understanding shall keep your hearts and minds through your Hawa Shai Hamashiach. And that's what they want. They want to destroy your mind. They want to destroy your heart. 
keep your payback and you will cal calcify your pineal gland through the wicked water, the fluoride, the chlorine in the water. Alright? You know, and um, you know, hey, Yabashu, Yabashu, Miyoshai, everything is possible. They want to turn you into a mo. Alright? But the Lord can establish, establish you. Once you have that faith in Him and once you're a member of the elect. Alright? So, hey, you know, keep strong, hold fast, make the wise choices. Alright? Prayer is important. Prayer and fasting. And with that, you know, watch out for these devils. You know, use, use uh, uh, um, edify yourself. You know, a lot, of, a lot of truth coming out on TikTok and YouTube, etc. Instagram, Facebook about food and the better choices of eating and healthy lifestyle. All right. So use these things for your benefit. All right. Don't let it pass you by. All right. Because wisdom, wisdom is important. And with all that getting, you're supposed to get what? Understanding the application of that wisdom in your life. So with that, I pray this lesson was edifying. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakodash. Till next time, Shalom.